chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that's similar to Alzheimer's disease, but unique neuropathologically. Uh, it used to be described as um, pugilistic dementia, uh, or punch drunk, uh, because it's based off of boxers. But what we're finding is now this applies to all sorts of athletes that have had concussive head injury. Well, the many symptoms of CTE overlap with other diseases, and with the gold standard of diagnosis being post-mortem, we need to find a test that we can do uh, while the player is still alive. So conventional MRI looks at water. What we do with MR spectroscopy is get rid of the water signal, which then reveals all these chemicals that are hidden underneath the water signal. We end up getting a spectrum where you get peaks that represent each chemical, and the height of the peak tells you how much of that chemical is present. We then tie those chemicals to biological processes, which then allow us to diagnose disease like CTE. The most compelling findings of our study is that despite a broad range of low and high exposure to repetitive head injury, all subjects in our study showed altered brain chemistry when compared to their healthy controls.